So guys, uh, I'm going to start this video a little differently because uh, it's going to be a little bit of a different format. But uh, I'll be building this blue box kit, which seems to be special painted. It's a New York Central F7A dummy. You know, good 12 bucks. Here's the instruction manual, parts bag, horns. And this is actually the cigar band paint scheme. Uh, I really only want this because this is a staple of the 60s and like, you know, not the lightning stripe scheme, which everyone thinks is better, which is wrong, but you know, you're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go through, uh, building it. Um, some of the other things that I'm going to do to it is, um, give it actual handrails because there are like, uh, spots where you can see that they're supposed to be. But there's just nothing there, so I'll drill some stuff, put some wire in there. Um, if I can show you on the nose, the uh, the decal application is um, amateur at best. Um, that is not looking too pretty. And um, I'll probably end up putting this on the powered chassis from my Lehigh Valley F units. Just because this I would actually run. But, you know. Anywho, uh, so I'll get into it with the pictures, and it'll just be a slideshow, and then at the end of it, you'll see it running. So, to start out, like with any kit, I took a look at the exploded parts diagram. And since I've already built two of these, uh, getting all the basics down was easy. Uh, one of the air compressors on the truck uh, side uh, had uh, the pin broken off, so I had to glue it in place. But besides that, it was... It's really easy to assemble, you know, nothing I can't do. Up next was the detailing. So I had to cross-reference my uh, really just horrible uh, Connecticut Department of Transportation F7 as to what I did, which was, you know, just handrails and windshield. And technically, I didn't need to add a new horn because uh, several of the cigar band F units still used ble bleeder horns. And so what I did next was drill holes for the handrails. Um, my smallest Dremel drill bit did not like uh, fitting in, so I had to use a slightly bigger one and fill in the gaps later. And uh, the handrails are all 7-gauge wire, if I'm correct. Uh, I really just had to do it on both sides. It was really just long, slow, and repetitive, but I got it done. Honestly, I would have called it here if uh, the windows didn't look like a complete void without any sort of glass, or at least fake glass. So I took um, the clear plastic packaging from clear plastic, and now it looks like, you know, a kind of real train. And from that point on, I put it on the Atherin Special Edition Lehigh Valley F unit chassis, and you, there is no visible difference. Like, it looks exactly the same as it did with the dummy chassis. Um, one thing that did kind of happen is, uh, the glue that I used decided to have, like, fumes and, like, fog up the plastic packaging windows, whatever, and so it looks meh at best, but, you know, it's not something that'll be impossible to do again or buy a detail kit. Um, I'm honestly kind of satisfied with it. Um, I mean, you know, I got my 12 bucks worth with a couple hours of work. And, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, in the words of Rodney Kantorsky, New York Central, Road to the Future. Uh, tell me, do you want to see more simplified stuff? More New York Central stuff? I know I have to get at least, you know, a B unit for this or, like, a caboose or something. But, honestly, I kind of want to do more like this. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll see you next week. Later.